Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, 2901 Productions and 48 Media proudly presents to you its podcast tag team champion of the world, the road dog Marlon Copeland, the badass Eric Johnson, <laughs> another round of absolute... <laughs> What's going on, man? Nothing much. This man, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's not on 50 cans of Red Bull. <laughs> that should have that should have been dope with that with the music if we didn't have to add it later. I can just hear that shit. That's funny. <laughs> Let's try something different, man. <laughs> just try a little something different. Getting back in the wrestling. Yeah, I am. I've seen you and Josh talk about bring up some, I guess, some new wrestling company. Oh man, something. AEW. Oh yeah. yeah, it's great. I ain't even looked into that yet. Oh, it's dope. What's been going on with you, though, man? Nothing much, man. On the plantation, you know how it go. Yeah. You know, master with the whip and shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm ready for the weekend already. Bro, what is you saying? I'm just like ready to. I am definitely ready for the weekend. Yeah, my weekend start tomorrow as soon as I get off. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm-mm. And I'm trying to uh, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my daughter because I know she's gonna want to go swimming, but we probably can't do that till Friday. Uh, that's probably gonna be the only thing we do this weekend because last weekend I took her out to the movies and out to eat. Mm-hmm. And she ran my pockets, man. <laughs> <laughs> ran my pockets. Yeah. I can't complain too much though, cause that's my that's my only child. So I, I try to spoil them when I can. I know. Yeah. I, I can't have no more, man. Fuck them kids. Right, <laughs> 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 that's gonna be your tagline on the shirt or some shit. Oh <laughs> man, yeah, I just. Fuck that shit wouldn't get approved through Amazon, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm doing the streaming through here now, so. You know. Oh, what are we streaming on today? Another round, absolutely. Okay. Uh, our IG page. Mm-mm. The, um, uh oh, the Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if. Yeah. Hopefully, everybody that uh that tune in on on your regular Facebook page uh. I tune in on the the other page. Hopefully so. Yeah. Shit, I should have plugged my phone up and and streamed it. Go ahead, knock yourself out. That way you could stream from yours, and I could have streamed from the. Uh, oh no! Uh, no you round. know what? Cause I ain't even. What you doing through uh the Facebook app? Mm-hmm. Oh, I ain't got to show my phone. <laughs> 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 I ain't got to show my phone. Cause I don't be on Facebook like that. Shit, what we got planned for the day, man? So today, what we're going to do is over, under, or push. And what we're going to be talking about is various things, such as shit, like a noun, person, place, or thing. (laughs) All right. So when you say push, like if we don't push, that means you you don't push that ass off a cliff, or you don't care about (laughs) it, or whatever. Push my cliff. All right, I'm ready for this. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun, man. I think it's going to be fun. Well, let, let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right. Hey, you got the you got the uh, Facebook page going. I, said okay. I was going to start it on, on the other one because it wasn't getting no hits. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll start the IG then. All right. Hey, is this? What? Cause that I do have on my phone. All right, let's go ahead and get this shit. Um, Another round. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we should get we should find somebody to do like a dope ass intro to our intro to our uh our theme music. That would be dope. It would be dope. I think so. I totally agree with that. Well, I forgot I had to reset my phone the other day. <laughs> you gonna get you another one soon, <laughs> man? 
Man, the same way you feel about these kids, man. Fuck these phones. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody expensive. That is true, man. Samsung expensive, Apple expensive, and the Samsung that ain't expensive ain't worth shit. This is true. This is very true. All right, let's see. So once again, for everyone that's just catching up with us, what we're going to do today, we will be discussing if something is overrated, underrated, or just simply push, which just means like we really don't care either way. Um, so we're going we're gonna to reach in the box and pull out a name. We're going to pull out either a person, a place, or something that's trending. Have no idea what the hell it is, but that's what we're doing. So I think it'll be pretty fun. Yeah, we're going to get this thing started. I don't know. I ain't say I don't use it. IG live, so let me see. I don't know how this shit gotta be set up. Nigga rigged this shit real quick. <laughs> nah, that don't work. That's exactly <laughs> what he's doing. If y'all see this one, he is definitely rigging some shit up. Hey, I ain't finna sit here and hold the goddamn phone. Oh, yeah, he definitely don't rig some shit up. <laughs> Are you up. blocking your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, that, this shit is interesting. <laughs> get this shit going. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. Got damn okay. charger in the way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm trying to, trying to reach over it up on. I'm trying to. It got to be. <laughs> what happened to your face plate? What the? <laughs> Ooh, if only y'all can see this shit. This is some funny shit. Uh, uh, We're almost there. We almost there. Okay, it gotta stand up, but mm -hmm. that shit gotta hold up. Yeah, there's some there's some interesting <laughs> shit here. The damn charger in the way. <laughs> um about to yeah. die trying to <laughs> Go lie, go lie, go lie. <laughs> oh my god okay all right so now we're about to get ready to get started it's so over under a push all right. hey that should work for a minute it go, yeah just for a second <laughs> all, all right. right you wanna go first yeah all right let's see our box of tricks down here first name we got uh oh this was a hot topic on our last episode. Oh shit, I wonder what that is. Is he underrated? Is he overrated? Oh, we're gonna push this snake off a cliff. The one and only Nasir Jones. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh wow. Ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> do you think he's overrated? Underrated? Or do you not give two shits either way. I actually like Nas. Um, I'm gonna say push. I think he's right where he belongs. We already have a comment. Someone says they think Nas is underrated. Uh, <clears throat> he's mentioned as a goal. He but his record sales are not that great, so it's like, yeah. I think his influences, uh, his record sales today, or maybe yesterday. back then, uh. I don't know. Maybe it's just his influence, yeah, to the culture is 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 what he contributes more than uh, record sales. Mm. One of the greatest MC slash lyricists of all time <sighs> or ever. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I think he's where he's belongs. I say push. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Because <laughs> I I don't listen to him enough. I mean, I listen to him just enough, but not enough to to say that he's overrated or underrated correct i yeah. feel the same way yeah all right so out of the gate somebody got to push all right who's next let's see what we got here <laughs> what'd you got overrated or underrated i already know your answer overrated or underrated oj simpson on twitter overrated <laughs> Overrated. I don't know why everybody think that this nigga just gonna do something spectacular. 
<laughs> his posts be boring. They just normal ass posts. And every single comment underneath gonna be the same shit. <laughs> Talking about the same thing. You might get a few here and there that's that's unique and that make you laugh. <laughs> but then it's just gonna be memes and I don't know. Somebody gonna do a crying OJ face or some shit. I don't know. OJ on Twitter is overrated to me. I am going to say it is a push. Push his ass off a of cliff. <laughs> <laughs> See, like yesterday he was on he was on Twitter. He had a picture of him and Michael Jackson while he was riding on a golf cart. That's it wasn't just him and Michael Jackson. Well, it was him and the kids and shit. It whatever. was him, Michael Jackson. There was some other celebrities that what there were celebrities in their time. And then he said, "I can't judge him off his personal life. I didn't really <laughs> like. What about your personal life?" <laughs> Yeah, well, what about anybody's personal life? I know. I just thought <laughs> so, it was funny. I say push. I, I mean, think he's right. Because he everything it. OJ says is going to be criticized. Like, right. Over criticized. That's why I say push. Mm. I think it's funny. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody take this nigga phone. <laughs> <laughs> I do want somebody to take this phone. All right. The world being. All right. Is this going to be like people who think this way or just the conversation in general? The conversation. All right. The conversation of is the world flat or is the world round? Overrated, underrated, or push? I never hear much about the, like, about the, the topic. Mm. Like, the only time I even hear about it is if some celebrity said that this is what they believe or some odd shit like that on the news but I've never come across anybody that says they believe the world is flat uh no. I'm gonna say I think it's overrated I don't give a shit if the world is flat or round hey so wouldn't it be push if we don't care I think it's overrated like why do we care like why are we talking uh, about it so much when that was a hot topic I thought it was weird but that's just me I didn't know it ever was a hot topic yeah it used to be a hot Rashad says it's overrated. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't care either way. Oh. All right. Everybody who think the world is flat, you can go walk your ass off the edge. <laughs> Over Is this actor overrated or underrated? Michael J. Fox? <laughs> Why are you laughing at Michael J. Fox more? <laughs> I'm not laughing at Michael J. Fox. What you laughing about more? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think he is. Uh, I think Michael J. Fox is underrated. Michael J. Fox was influential to the culture because I don't. I don't even know black people who didn't watch Back to the Future. I like Alex P. Keaton, so I would say he is. Uh, he is underrated. I think historically he's meant a lot to uh, the eighties cinema and yeah. television. I can agree with that. See, I, I think it was pretty funny about too. Parkinson's. You just did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought he was. I always thought he was pretty funny. So, yeah, I like Michael J. Fox. Me too. All right, <clears throat> stir some shit up. I ain't got no nothing to say about this dude, Mike Tyson. Uh, is Mike Tyson overrated or underrated? Are we uh, talking about his his boxing skills? Just him in general, his boxing skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah. I think Mike Tyson was was a very well rounded athlete, and I think his stand his uh not stand up, but the uh, little one man show that he had mm. you know around. I think that was pretty funny too. I think Mike Tyson, the boxer, is a little bit overrated, but Mike Tyson, the person, is severely underrated. Overrated how as a boxer? <clears throat> he dominated for a short amount of time. Very short. Like five years. Hey, they that because he went to jail? Well, that's his shit. fault. <laughs> 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 shit, that's his fault. I don't care that anybody even going to jail. All right, so if they had... Okay, so if they were... Good for their time, but then they just stop being around. Then that makes them overrated. To me, yeah. Okay, so what well, if they die early? Then that's different. How? Yeah. 
Because death now, death don't make you great. I wanna, it don't. I don't but say that, but it can take away. Uh, I mean, I think that if you were just like, like just tragically taken, I think that I can't hold that against you. But if you go to jail or you flop or some shit like that, that's on you. I think both mm-hmm. death and incarceration is like nose blindness to a person's career. Because as soon as that person isn't around Mm -hmm. to contribute anymore Mm -hmm. for whatever reason, just not around in general, people tend to, like, they tend to praise their body of work more. Maybe because they missed their influence. Mm Mm-hmm. Or no, because it's the popular thing to do, right? <laughs> that too. So that's my take on it. So as a boxer, I looking at everybody else, well, other boxers that I've seen, I, don't, I think Mike Tyson is where he was supposed to be. Now, as a person, I think he's underrated. All right. Oh wow. Another round of absolute. We are definitely underrated. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would. I'm I would, biased though. <laughs> okay. I would definitely say I think that we are. It's in between underrated and push. I don't uh, think we're overrated. We we we've never been overrated, mm-hmm. and I don't think we've ever been underrated. I think we we've always been exactly where we needed to be. So. so. What up to whoever that was that uh joined us on live and jumped off on IG? <laughs> but yeah, I, I I think we 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 I think we good. Oh, Rashad said we was underrated. Rashad being biased because he knows us. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it <laughs> always. Yep. So that was good. all right. Who put that? You put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> you can't put yourself in there. Like voting for yourself for president. I did. <laughs> Nipsey Hustle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that damn silence speak um, volumes, huh? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Nipsey Hustle as an artist, I think is overrated. As a human being, I think he's severely underrated. That's my truth. Uh, I don't know enough about either to <sighs> give a fair assessment on underrated or overrated so I'm gonna say he was where he needed to be because especially judging from the actions of how people are after he passed and the things that I that have come to light as far as what he was doing in the community and for the youth uh, I think that that's the side of him that I never knew about so I and I about probably it. wouldn't have known about it because I didn't I didn't follow him like that. So I yeah. kept up with the guy. I didn't keep up with um the musician because I, I I mean I already have a West Coast a East Coast bias. So his music was just typical West Coast music to me. Like Kendrick Lamar is a hip hop artist. He's not a West Coast hip hop artist. Mm. Which is my personal opinion, but <clears throat> just how I think. Rashad sure says he agree with me. <laughs> All right. You're going to get your ass whooped with me. We're going to be in that corner together, brother. <laughs> somebody will probably walk outside. Somebody will fucking stab me. Just <laughs> <laughs> How could you say that? This is not what Nipsey wanted. I'm bleeding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. Underrated. The movie? Yeah. Underrated. Push. Underrated. That shit was hilarious. I guess it was just my sense of humor because I thought that shit was funny as hell. I think it was. I just I give it a push. It was alright. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> just alright. It was this thing, funny, bro. Yeah. When this thing was sitting in class and he had all the goddamn tater tots in his pocket and he wouldn't give dude nothing, and dude kicked the shit out of his pocket. <laughs> I mean, it you had... know that's some shit that people would do for real. Like if a nigga being stingy with his tots in class, and you know he the only nigga got some snacks, 
smooth shower, motherfuckers in his pocket. <laughs> All right. I say push. Nice. Let's see. It said underrated, funny as hell. Okay. New X Men movies. Uh, so the ones is coming out of the. the this is from basically from future past on. I, I'm assuming. Well, future past was just all right. I ain't, um, I ain't carried the way. And the new one, I know it was a. I don't know if it was a. I th- I know it was associated with X Men, but it was like it wasn't really a superhero movie. It was like a dark, like yeah. drama. Not drama. Uh, Kind of like a horror movie, kind of oh, almost. New, you talking about New Mutants? That yeah. came out yet. Matter of fact, they scrapped it. Oh, well. Disney said no. Disney, some assholes. They probably would have made money from that. Because oh. it ain't your typical X Men oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Fox, and Fox touched it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to say severely overrated because I think all those movies are fucking horrible. I haven't seen any in a long time. I like the first two. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther King. That was before my time. Underrated. I would say he's underrated. I want to know about the Martin Luther King when he got mad. I don't. I mean, I know he was the turn of the cheek <clears throat> dude, but did he? Would he really have turned of the cheek? I mean, shit. Somebody. Funny story, real quick. I was in class one day and um. It was in uh, political, not political science, in one of those social study classes in high school. And uh, my teacher, he was telling the story about when Martin Luther King was marching. Mm-hmm. And uh, some woman, I think it was a woman, ran up to him and stabbed him in his chest. And and um, he said, if Martin Luther King would have sneezed, he would have died. So I was sitting in the back of the class and I said, achoo. <laughs> I got put out of class. <laughs> I was like, I said, matter of fact, I said, achoo, beep. <laughs> <laughs> like I got put out of class. That's that asshole in you. It's like, it like 16 years old, man. <laughs> That's old enough to know better. <laughs> hey, it's hard for me not to catch out of you. Touche. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. You did... I think he was where he needed to be because if he wasn't, mm. I don't know if I don't know if his life would have. Well, maybe it's just going back to that same "once people die" mm-hmm. thing. Would his his <coughs> fight have been the same, or the outcome of his fight for civil rights have been the same if he had lived? I mean, I don't know, but I I gotta say this: anybody that died for the culture. Yeah. Like he put his life on the line for the culture. I mean, they got to be underrated to me. Yeah. All right. Let's see, mix this shit up. Avengers Endgame overrated. I was second that it was overrated. Uh, I ain't got to think about that shit. I the way I look at it. I take a movie for what it's for. It was a bridge movie. It's bridging into phase four. But if it was just like this standalone end of a saga type movie, it was severely overrated. Yeah, it was a bridge to a nap. <laughs> that shit was... It was... It, I don't know, man. I told somebody the other day that I ain't, I ain't like that movie. And it was like, what? Well, you you got to be a true fan to like that movie. Nah. Fuck Elvin. She was, was not that good. It was not. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. UGK. Underrated. Underrated. Always. And you know why I think they're underrated? Because everybody want to holler Pimp C. Yep. And they never put, like, they never gave Bun B more credit. I, I think know. if they had to gave Bun B more credit and... And uh, <clears throat> and collectively put their talent, like judge their talents together, mm-hmm. they would have gotten more, more credit. But see, here's my problem with black people, and yeah, I'm saying goddamn black people. 
every time somebody of significance die, y'all always want to fucking praise the deceased. Not saying they don't deserve praise, but how in the fuck you gonna say that Pimp C is way better than Bun B? Like they were a duo that pretty much had a similar flow. Oh, he said very underrated. I mean, I will say I thought Pimp C was a better storyteller, but they they flow was damn near the same. Except Pimp C sang. Yeah. That that's the only the only difference I can really tell. I'm <laughs> just saying they both yeah. were great rappers. I you know just because he's dead that doesn't that doesn't enhance his legend. They both were great. And so goes for all MCs. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> Family reunions <laughs> definitely <laughs> overrated. <laughs> Family reunions are I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a push because sometimes I like them and sometimes I yeah, don't. Fuck out of here! You don't want to fuck with me any other day of the year, but you want to wait four five years and then come together to have a goddamn barbecue at some hot ass park with mosquitoes and shit. But then you know some cousin slept with somebody's uncle or some shit like that always happens. <laughs> hey, that's the deep south. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like no bother shit. You know, no, well, okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, last family reunion I went to. Well, last and only family reunion I ever went to mm. wasn't bad, but it. It was just like a a gathering at a damn park. I was ready to go. We only After get like together. like a, a hour. <laughs> we only get together at family reunions or funerals. Cause even at family reunions, I still say I still talk to the <clears throat> same favorite cousins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say hi to everybody else, <clears throat> and then just look around and like, who are they with? <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. After that, I'm ready to go. Give me my plate. Let me eat. Get the hell on. I agree. But I, I, I still say push, though. <laughs> Rashad, hold on. Rashad said overrated as hell. You talking about UGK or you talking about family reunion? You talking about family reunion. <laughs> Rashad, Rashad, I know you don't go to family reunion. <laughs> trying to find any way to get the motherfuckers. Okay. You don't even go to Christmas, nigga. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Andre 3000. As an individual or as a member of Outcast, Andre three thousand. I'm going to say he is severely <clears throat> overrated. He has the bars. He has the talent. He don't have the body of work. Yeah. Body of work There's... has to count for something. I mean, he has work. He just doesn't have a lot of it. I mean, if you're looking at him as like a rapper, what what work does? What is he? It's a rapper. Yeah, but he raps, he acts. I know he what plays, he's a musician. Man, answer the damn question. I don't know. I think he's where he needs to be. I mean, as a just for him being him, he's where he needs to be. I oh my god, he no... is definitely underrated. Uh, overrated. Oh. Mm. oh. I ain't you. putting Thank him in you. like no <clears throat> greatest of all time MC but the, the man is is he's a great artist with the small body of work he has it, I mean but he's still a great artist and for the work he's done he was good at it so he was where he needs to be from, to me okay let's, let's move on <laughs> matter of fact throw this shit away <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street series are awesome. And fuck everybody who said they ain't. Your opinion, Marlon? <laughs> it is severely underrated. <laughs> I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I watch it every day. I can quote the movie back and forth. You probably could. I can. And I can't even do that. I'm like one of those fans that like if I watch it once and I like it, I like that shit. I ain't gotta see it every day. I can forget. I have to forget what happens in it because if I don't, then I'm not gonna want to watch it again. 
I'm that's even, any movie. I'm even friends with some of those people on social media, and they talk back to me. <laughs> that's <laughs> Dan is cool as fuck. Remember Dan from Nightmare on Street Four? What do you do? He was Dan, the one that the jock that everybody thought was nice looking. No, no, I remember. If you ain't Freddy, I don't remember you. Oh my god! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Damn, Friday the Thirteenth franchise. Overrated. <clears throat> I think it's where it needs to be at. It's had some good ones and it's had some bad ones. Well, okay. Motherfucking space is severely overrated. <laughs> yeah, that shit was trash in a half. <laughs> Motherfucking space, sick of this shit. I mean, but I, I mean, I, even though I, I pick at the character, I, and give uh, Jason hell. <laughs> no pun intended. I, I still, I still think he's a dope villain. Yeah, because he's always doing shit that you don't expect him to do. I mean, he does the same shit, but when this motherfucker just pop up out of nowhere, and he was just. Like briskly walking after you, you didn't see him run. Right. So I was like, "All right, nigga, how the fuck you do that?" But his kills be a mess. So yeah. All right. I like it. I'm in the middle. Push. I like the villain, the series, and the myth of Stevie Wonder being blind. Or being able to see. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> Who the hell put that in there? I'm. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that one. So, I'm gonna say it is a little underrated. It's not all the way underrated because I actually think that, like, for example. If you ever seen the video of him shooting the basketball, how the fuck does he know what the form is like? He's never seen before. Watch the video. He caught a fucking microphone. A microphone was about to fall. He caught it. Houseway. I don't know, man. You've been blind that long. You got other senses kick in. I can't tell what you. What do you do? Smell the mic going? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't never been blind before. <laughs> I can't tell you how, to, how your extra senses work. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like... If, he can smell the mic falling. It's like if you sit in or uh, you accidentally elbow something off the table and you just got them, your reflexes kick in and you catch that shit. But he ain't the one that hit it. Paul McCartney knocked the microphone over and Steven wanted to call it. I don't know. I have to see that video. <clears throat> Maybe I mean, when you blind, you got to know exactly where everything is. So I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I think he can, I think he can see like like outlines like, or some shit. He's definitely legally blind. I'm legally blind. <laughs> you remember that video? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like P O P. Hold it down. <laughs> I'm legally blind. You know they did another uh, interview uh, after she was locked up. She's still in prison, ain't she? I don't know. <clears throat> but sir, I don't I'm know. a female. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't. I don't. I never thought of that being a big deal, like whether he could see or not. Oh man, it was, it was a big deal for a while. I mean, cause what what would it change if he could see a little bit? Man, <laughs> don't change his body of work. Nope. And right. then and then it's fucked up, cause if you stop liking him after you find out he could see, it's like y'all motherfuckers was giving him pity, uh, sympathy likes. <laughs> Michael Jackson. As an artist, as great as he is, I think he is severely underrated. As a man, he is severely overrated. How? Huh? <clears throat> Cause as a man, I think he, I think he had two faces, and I believe that the, the, um, pedophile face is more him. That's just my personal opinion. Mm. <clears throat> I can agree with that. Well, as an artist, oh, I think he was right where he needs to be. Really, I yeah. think that he he was so ahead of his time and so versatile. I think he's underrated. I mean, but that's what made him great. I think every even though he was ahead of his time, people still realize that. I think that's what made him the king of pop. 
Right, and nobody ever contested that that title. I, I, I change it. He push where it needs to be. As a man, he was overrated in the motherfucker. <laughs> I I want to know how many of y'all let him watch our children. Bro, because people still, like, every year, <clears throat> every anniversary of his death, people don't change, the, don't change the way they feel. That R. Kelly shit came out. And they got his ass off the radio quick. <laughs> <laughs> they still play Michael Jackson. City Boy South was definitely where he needed to be. That guy was, yeah, yeah, he was where he needed to be. City Boy South, in my personal opinion, was definitely underrated. I think you, I think he was multi talented. Um, I just think that. You know, opportunity, air, and space just wasn't in line at the moment, but super talented. As an artist, uh, I don't know. I say I think he was where he needed to be because I don't believe he, like, pushed. I don't think I don't think he pushed his creativity enough at the time. I can see that, uh-huh. but I think. You hit oh well. He <laughs> held a lot of different responsibilities which could have hindered that. Sure. All right. Angela Bassett needing a Oscar. I didn't know she didn't have one. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to say push on that one because just like with Samuel Jackson, how I hear people say, "Oh, he should, um, he should have a um, Oscar." You also have to think about the roles that these people take on. Are they putting themselves in a position to acquire an Oscar, or is their talent strong enough to the point where, no matter what the role is, their talent shines through? I mean, just like Robert Downey Jr. Now, I know I always say this, but. This man was up for a Oscar as a supporting actor in a comedy, which is like super rare. So, you know, it's all, you know, but I I think Angela Bassett is talented enough to what she should have won maybe in the past. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say she did the Tina Turner, right? Yes. Yeah, she definitely should have got got an Oscar for that. She still looks amazing. And that's, I think that's probably like my, well, for me, that would be my (laughs) go-to Reason for her needing the Oscar for that role as Tina Turner, and she if, still has my one of my favorite lines of all times in a movie. What was that? California state law says the only thing you can burn in your yard is trash. It is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. It's like my favorite line when she burned her husband's clothes and um, uh, Wayne takes Wayne him. Takes it, oh yeah. God! <laughs> Best male bashing movie of all time. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if uh, I wonder how many females of a generation under us have seen that movie. I would say probably not, not many. I don't know. I would say I don't think they've watched it. Well, the younger black Twitter be on fire if they watch that movie. A lot of clothes be on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I don't know. We have these folks out with the music I be hearing. They willing to accept anything these days. Boob jobs. Underrated. <laughs> if you need them, get them. If you want them, get them. Hell, is your body do what you want to do with them? I would say push. If you want it, great. If you don't want it, great. You know, I say underrated <clears throat> because I think a lot of women feel, I mean, with the way society is with mm-hmm. body shame and shit like that, it's like if you're comfortable with your body and your body isn't perfect. Motherfuckers gonna find an issue with it. If you not comfortable with your body and you do something about it, motherfuckers gonna find a problem with it. Mm-hmm. So I think it stops a lot of people from taking steps to make themselves feel better about themselves because they always worried about what other people. I mean, what other people gonna say? Yeah, <clears throat> so. I can see that. I mean, it took me twenty eight years, like twenty eight, twenty nine years, to finally accept. Uh, certain things about myself physically and or you know as a person so and when I got to that point I was like fuck it 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but it is what it is. What it, if I had the money? Is that certain things I would get done? Yes. I'm not even gonna lie. But am I stressing about it? No, I would do it because it's something I want, not because of some. You know, women say, "Oh, you don't look like blah blah blah." blah. I wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, I definitely got them um, head straight to the damn orthodontist. And then <laughs> the line with J. Cole is like, uh, I keep my twisted grill just to show the kids it's real. Fuck that, I'll get my shit fixed. <laughs> I'll be like Cardi B in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the podiatrist. <laughs> They'll give me some popping pecs like the Wayne Johnson. <clears throat> oh shit, Bill Cosby. <laughs> As a comedian, I would say push. As a man, he right where he need to be. What push to <laughs> in jail? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, okay, just push, man. Like yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody ever like gave him more credit than what he deserved as a comedian, and I don't think people gave him more hell than what he deserved as a man. So. I do not deserve to be in prison. <laughs> Dog. Do a nigga stand to get me to push? Now he, now he probably ain't deserved the, the stale hot dog stale buns. Stale hot dog buns. They just throw stale hot dog buns at me. Alright, let's see. Let my wife Camille. Tom Cruise. <clears throat> oh. Tom Cruise has like two phases to his career to me. The young Tom Cruise is severely underrated. The older Tom Cruise is severely overrated. <laughs> uh, I I only refer to the Tom Cruise from the Mission Impossible. Because <laughs> Mission point. Impossible, uh, I haven't seen the newest one. All of them are dope. But I like Mission Impossible. But when he steps out of anything Mission Impossible as a as the older version. Like action pack. Like Jack Reacher. I wanted to beat his ass when I watched that movie. I seen that movie once, never watched it again. I'm like, dude, you like five seven standing in the middle of like six men and you beat all their ass. Let's make this realistic. I don't know. How tall is Jackie Chan? Bro, Tom Cruise don't know any goddamn karate. We don't know that. He didn't do it in the movie. <laughs> How you know Jackie Chan didn't know if if nobody knew Jackie Chan and his <clears> background, <throat> and they just put him, in, they're like, oh, he know that shit because he Asian. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you see Jack Reacher and this motherfucker standing in a circle of men and he beat all their ass just using his fist, he didn't do any, you know, dang, shit. He didn't do none of that shit. Okay. It was dumb. <laughs> okay. And then they went and made a part two to it. Hey, well, what about uh, uh, what's the dude? The dude go around killing everybody because of that damn dog. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I never, you know what? And don't kill me, world. I never seen John Wick. <clears throat> I think you I need seen to the see first it. one. The first one made me want to see the second. <clears throat> one. I haven't seen the last one, but that first one, I was like, this a bad motherfucker. All right. Oh <laughs> Shout God! Out to that band night wasn't good either. I ain't <laughs> think I only seen it once. What you pull? Kanye West. <laughs> no, Kanye West is right where he need to be. So I'm gonna have to push on that one. I'm gonna say my. Obese doppelganger is severely underrated. I don't because when he when he dropped and all his albums came out, like you cannot deny from <clears throat> album sales, lyrical ability, like just creativity in general. Like everybody was on Kanye West, and then when he started not doing the music he was doing at first and. <laughs> Trying to make America great again. You ever heard Kids See Ghost? I haven't heard that album. I actually like it. But mm, people gave him hell when they needed to give him hell, and they praised him when his music was dope. When the music was it was just so so, they called it. So I want to say underrated. Mm. Not trying to be biased. I just think he's underrated. As an artist or as a producer? 
<clears throat> well, okay. a rapper or as a as a producer. Let me rephrase. As a producer, I think he's severely underrated. Because I was just talking about the whole package. But as a rapper, yeah. I think he is where he need to be. Okay. Yeah. He needs to go back and get his masters. <laughs> but he did he he, he did graduation. He gra- <laughs> <clears throat> Lauren Hill. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, this silence speaks gold. This speaks overrated. volumes. He, she is severely overrated. Yeah. Because this, and this is the same thing. It's not that she's not talented. We all think that Lauren Hill is super extremely talented, talented. But she made one fucking album. One. The outside mis- ed- of the Fuji. Outside of the Fuji, the miseducation of Lauren Hill cannot carry you. All the way through, like, like fuck, like shit. No, unless that same album just goes platinum every year for every year you don't do an album. But she is super talented, but she is severely yeah. overrated. I do think so because people, even when she performed these days, people always complain about her being late <laughs> and just like hours late but for her concert. Her, she told him she performed at some Catholic. Something and she told, um, say y'all need to stop these preachers with fucking these little boys in their ass or something like that. She said, <laughs> "Like, come on, uh, really? Uh, time and place for everything. Time I mean, and place. Yeah, it's not it's, facts are facts, but right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just it's just not right, not the right time. <laughs> All right. All right." <laughs> Manscaping. I don't know. I guess there's a push on that one. I don't know. <laughs> I, um... Uh, that should be a question for women. I hate hair, so I shave. So I ain't gonna lie, I hate hair. No, that don't make a difference to me. I shave when I need to, and I don't if I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rashad said, "What the hell?" <laughs> Rashad just be walking around like a bushman, <laughs> like a bushman. Rashad, too. like uh, you know, like you see the women with their bikinis on, and they be having them damn with their hair on their sides and shit. <laughs> sure, I can't walk around like a bushman all year round, man. Sometimes begin too goddamn hot, boy. <laughs> In the room, room be musty, be him. Oh, <laughs> you said that's what they call. <laughs> Stephen King. Ooh. I think Stephen King is a great writer. I like every every movie Stephen King has come out with. I've watched it. Might not be able to remember them all, but I know I've watched them. I'm gonna say he's right where it need to be. Cause yeah. some movies are great, and some movies I couldn't vibe with. So I think people. I think most people. Well, most people like us. Mm probably only known for his movies but as far as the books go there's no telling how many books well i couldn't tell you how many books he's written under different names oh okay so i would probably say underrated as a writer okay and right where he needs to be as a a director that's fair I think that you think that's where Stanley got his. Well, no, nah, Stanley was older, so maybe that's where Stephen King got it from. Want to be in, like, have cameos in his own movies. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. That the beautiful it. city of East Point. I. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna be biased. It's my home. It's underrated. Yeah, I get, but I don't hear a lot of people. Talk about East Point, though. Well, I think that the, 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 the I would say this: the talk that I've heard about East Point is that it's rough, and it's all this, that, and the other. East Point is 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 it's had its rough phases, but it's it's back on the upswing. Yeah, but that's everywhere. Yeah, I agree with that. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna always shout out East Point. I love East Point. Bankhead and East Point gonna always have my love. Yep. Yeah, uh, I think it's right where it needs to be because. It got some parts that's nice and some parts that still look shitty and need to be fixed up. <laughs> and 
It was like they trying to gentrify uh, Stanton Road, which right. is where I grew up at. But the fucked up thing about that is, is like the parts that need to be redone, they ain't still there. Right, it's like you can't, like you get off 166 and bust that right on the Stanton Road, mm. and that same hood ass gas station right there, and right across the street, that same hood ass plaza right there. And right next to the gas station, I'm saying hood-ass apartments still right there in the back if you go up that hill. But then right next to that, they fixed those up. They fixed those shits up. Looked like some senior citizen living homes or some shit like that. And then they tore down goddamn, all the apartments that came right after that mm-hmm. and rebuilt that shit nice as hell. Now they're building houses and shit. I think the problem is always money. I think money starts running out. Money gets held up. So it's like, you know, if you ain't getting paid, you're not going to finish. True. Uh, yeah. Well, y'all yeah. need to do better by East Point, goddammit. I always going to love my city. Who I need to write letters to? This shit is unacceptable. Can't even take my daughter around there and be like, yeah, the way I grew up at. Y'all motherfuckers tore that shit down. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Virginity. <laughs> Virginity is underrated. I'm going to say it's in the middle. I think it just depends on who you are. Underrated. I think it need to be more virgins <clears throat> in this motherfucker. Because, boy, you see how some of these kids act today? Like, your parents should have never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I say, I, I, I just say push. I just think it depends on who you are, if you're mature enough to handle it. I wish I would have waited. Um, you know, like, I shouldn't have been having sex at 12. Um, maybe should have waited till like, late teens or something. Yeah, I waited till I was 18. Yeah. So, I say push. All right. Gender reveal parties. <laughs> Wish I said EJ is right. I changed my mind. <laughs> Gender reveal parties are fucking overrated as hell. Um, I say push. Just depends. Right, you spent okay. Now, unless you got the hookup or you come up with some kind of creative way that's cost effective to tell people that hey, it's a boy, it's a girl. Good job. But if you spend like outrageous amounts of money, you're doing like extreme shit. Or like this one motherfucker, he got them set off some shit and burnt down half a goddamn forest trying to do some gender reveal <laughs> shit. I actually did like that gender reveal. But if you spend <laughs> crazy amounts of money to do that shit, like there's money that you could be saving for stuff that you need for your kid or, or something. But if it's cost effective, it's fine. But it's just the outrageous ones that I can't deal with. Look, Sam said that theirs was good. Don't lie. I, I didn't did. say it wasn't good. I like theirs. <laughs> theirs was dope. I did like theirs. That do, no, I just did gender reveal, right? Yeah. yeah. Can't be at them gender reveals and be like, oh, man. <laughs> Friday Trilogy. Overrated. Overrated. That's all I got to say about that. Yep. I move on too. <laughs> I like part one. Miss me with two. Oh shit. Sorry. Kudos to Sam and Jarvis. They ain't spend a dime on their gender reveal. <laughs> um I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Why are you gonna get in trouble? Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Overrated or underrated? Oprah Winfrey. I think she might be a little overrated. Because everybody be for Oprah. Like all day, every day. For everything she do for people. As soon as she do something that you don't agree with, they be like, fuck wrong with you? Uh, It's just when people are so quick to turn on somebody that they hold so high in standards, that's what makes me think that 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 person is overrated. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I think for her contributions to her shot said it three times. <laughs> I, I think her contributions to you know to Chicago and, and to like what she did for black media on a white you know network. Me- network. Um, I think those are underrated. Um, I think the woman is severely overrated because she is damn near narcissistic to me. Uh, it's just like crossing her is like crossing God, God or something, and I'm just not a fan of that. Well, it's a couple of celebrities just like that, right? And she's one. Hmm? I don't know her personally. If I ever met her and sat down and had a conversation with her personally, that would be different. But the octaves that I see of her, that's my perception. But I won't hold that against her because it's just my opinion. I don't have fact. I don't have facts. Mm-hmm. I just see what I've seen. All right. But I think she tried to get back in good graces with Black America when she did the uh, interview for the uh, Central Park Five. Okay, you know when she did the Michael Jackson shit, everybody turned on her. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Chinese food. Huh? I think Chinese food is. Hey, right, are we talking real Chinese food or like hood Chinese food? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> because it's a difference here, like. Most of these motherfuckers, if they went over to China, they probably be looking at some of that, like the authentic food, and be like, "I ain't eating that." I would say that <laughs> Sam say trap Chinese is underrated. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know, I, I I gotta admit, I gotta say it's probably a little overrated because I I can't even eat Chinese food now. I have to go to like a Japanese steakhouse. Oh well, that's different. Chinese. I know. Japanese. I know it's different, but I'm just saying. I mean, it's shit. Fried rice. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to be prejudiced here. I'm well, just saying. Japanese don't fry their rice like that. Yeah, they fry it. Steamed rice, bro. They right there in front of you. They cook the shit. Are you talking about? Uh, I just said a Japanese like the hibachi. Thing? Yeah. No. That's the only kind. Of, I I can't go to like Lohan's up the street and shit no more. I just yeah. can't. Like I've totally changed how my eating. I mean, I still eat bad shit at times, but for the most part, I am a clean eater. That didn't even sound right. <laughs> I don't know, man. Cause any day of the week, if I had a chance, I I'd probably still go back to uh the Chinese spot off <laughs> off Camelton Road <laughs> and get their braised wing. Cause you can't find them shits nowhere. You can't find them motherfuckers nowhere else. Real Chinese food from China in the middle. I've never been, so I can't say. <clears throat> now, yeah. we'll, I have a pet peeve, though, with Chinese restaurants. I do not like when you when they say uh, um, Chinese food and uh, hot wing. Y'all can afford the fucking S. I can't stand when they just have wing up there. <laughs> It 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 drives me insane. That that is like a major pet peeve. I know it's stupid. I know it's a stupid <laughs> pet peeve. But why the fuck you gonna say wing? That's just like a bird with one fucking wing. That bird can't fly. It's done. Put the S on that motherfucker. It don't cost that much. <laughs> it bothers the shit out of me. Well, you know people spell stuff the way they talk. Don't, they don't, these people don't correct them when they're making the signs? What for? Oh they still God. getting paid for it. That's extra money. You pay for the S. Shit. <laughs> I don't think I it's that much that extra. Shit. I do. I hate it. <laughs> I don't pay enough attention to worry about if it got an S on it or not. When I'm driving like, down the road good, and I see that good. shit, it drives me insane. Hey, hey, Sam. Go on somewhere like, with that. Talking about that's the same as somebody saying Kroger's and not Kro- uh, saying Kroger's. Cause Kroger's ain't got no S. Oh, I agree with her. I hate that one. Hell of it. It's Kroger's because it's more than one. It's Kroger. It's Kroger's because you can go to the Kroger's here. You can go to the Kroger's up the street. <laughs> it's like three of them on the same block. When Kanye West, <laughs> when did Kanye West get a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> What's up, Antonio? <laughs> Sam coming on here stirring up controversy. But why do why do we say that? <laughs> 
Kroger's. There's no. Just give told that, you why. Give more that than one. S. <laughs> give the, the S to the. T- <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> give that fucking S on Kroger's to the wings. <laughs> well. <laughs> Kroger don't have an S on their sign. But we put we the just fucking S there. on there, so give it to the wing people. So why you can't just say wings when you see the sign? Because they should <laughs> spell it right. I'm not going in there ordering one goddamn wing. <laughs> well, for the turkey wing. How, how much for one wing? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> how much for a cup of water? <laughs> oh, man. Oh wait, I did that. It's your turn. All I right. did Chinese food. Papa John's. Not Fuck because Papa of John's. his racial inflamed comments. I just think his food is under. I mean, overrated. I love mom and pop, mom and pop pizza places. I don't like chains. I don't know. You can bring Papa John's in here right now. I probably won't eat shit, but the damn hot pepper to come in. <laughs> Why? Because you don't like his pizza? Or just because of what he said? Because most of the time, they got Papa John's. It's like just cheese or some shit. (laughs) (laughs) I need more than that. I don't even care about what he said. I just don't think the pizza's good anymore. I wouldn't buy stock in that shit, though. Why? Because as soon as they do something fucked up, you'll lose money so fast. Well, what the hell did Uber do? Because I'm losing money like a motherfucker. I don't know, man. And then I want to sell it, but if I sell it, it's like I'm selling on a half. Oh my God. Fuck you, Uber. I don't know. <laughs> well, I told you before, because uh, what was the one the one stock you was asking me about? And I said that it, it wasn't publicly traded yet because oh, they were trying to wait. Yeah, because when uh, Uber went public, they stock dropped. And yeah. it took a while for it to go right back up. So. <laughs> Yeah, Uber folks dying. <laughs> and then so you said Papa John's is laxatives on dough. <laughs> hey, that's the same as uh that's the same as crystal. That's just laxative on a bun. <laughs> oh yeah. You ever gotta go to the bathroom, eat a crystal. <laughs> Alright, uh, what would I say? Overrated for Papa John. I don't like that. Alright. Bun B. Underrated. Underrated. All day. All day. For y'all simply Pimp C fans who forget that Bun B was even in the damn group. That shit tastes like warm diarrhea. I never had that before. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Biggie. <laughs> that shit tastes like a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie. I think he I think he's where he needs to be. Because yeah. I don't think his I'm already being a little biased because he don't have enough body of work to be the greatest. But yeah, right where he needed to be. Yep, that was easy. Yep. Christopher Wallace. What? He said, "I'd rather eat a white man's meal." Easy, easy mac and hot dogs. Hot dogs. Over what? Oh, you talking about like the macaroni and cheese and the hot dogs cut up together? I think that's what he meant. Yeah. Oh. That Chris is a hot squish. <laughs> right. XXX Tentacion. I think he was. After his passing, I think he was overrated. Before his passing, I think he was right where he needed to be. Because people gave him the. <clears throat> They spoke about him how he needed to be spoken about. Mm. It's when it came to his music. They didn't say shit about him, his creativity, and none of that shit, or his uh, artistry until after he passed away. So, I agree with everything Eric just said. I eat cold grit <laughs> shit. <laughs> He do not like Papa John. <laughs> Reparations. Woo. Overrated. Overrated. That's a definitely. Well, I don't know on. what else to say. I just, I just think it's overrated. Yeah. I, mean, I know all the black people want to sit around. All y'all going to do is make Cadillac number one dealership in the world. Mm-mm-mm. Man, ain't nobody going to pay out their damn student loans, even if they did get <laughs> reparations. 
So, all right, let's see. They couldn't pay me enough. Anyway. Eric hit that one on the spot. Yep, you talk about uh, XX. Oh. Yeah. Kevin Hart. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think he's overrated right now. I actually think that he's overrated. I eat at Christy Bennett's house before I eat Papa John's. Good God Almighty! I thought Christy can cook. Um, I say Kevin Hart is um overrated right now as well. Yeah, I saw his last stand up on Netflix. <clears throat> Some parts was funny. Other parts was just all right. It's not like. I don't get that same vibe when he was hungry. Yeah, yeah. Well, not not even that because the, the stand up before <coughs> was funnier than than this one, but then the two stand ups before that were funnier than the ones That's that came when he after. He was hungry. So yeah, but nothing is ever going to be funnier than his very first stand up to me that I seen. So, and that's the one with the ostrich. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. All right, what we got here? Shot said in the middle. New edition, severely underrated. And that's probably my bias. Yeah. I think it I don't think people I don't think a lot of people even knew like in depth of new edition before that biopic. Second greatest group of all time in my opinion. They were great. They had some great ass songs too. But we can only talk about them in the well in the past tense because their music isn't as relevant today. So are we saying back then or now? Uh, in totality, I think they are uh, underrated. <clears throat> they a lot of their stuff is timeless. Yeah. Well, today I think they were they're where they need to be. Yeah, I mean they looked at a little bit more like goats now, but yeah. in the, I just think they're the second greatest group of all time behind Temptations. It's just me. All right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Monique complaining. <laughs> <laughs> She's still doing it. I thought she stopped. Um, did we say Ray J yet? What's up with Ray J? <laughs> um, Ray J is underrated. Uh, I don't know. It, it, I guess his penis is underrated. It created an empire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I can't talk. I can't speak on that one. But hey, I think Ray J is a happen? Ray J as a person is underrated. Ray J as the artist <clears throat> it was where he needed to be because this dude making moves in the tech industry. I don't know enough about Ray J. Uh-huh. Self, wait a minute. I remember that stupid <laughs> ass song. Um, Monique complaining is. She is just overrated overall. Just everything about her is overrated. Mm, I'll push on that one. I don't <clears throat> I can care less either way. Oh shit, I dropped one. Tupac, overrated. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Tupac is overrated in my eyes. Yeah, you know, I'm biased anyway. I prefer Biggie better. I mean, Tupac is a good artist. But <clears throat> people today seem like they talk like they would like lay down their life for Pac. For you disagreeing with uh, with Pac being the greatest. So, I don't know. Overrated to me. Me too. Has an amazing body of work. Yep. Not taking anything away from him as an artist, but his fans definitely made him overrated. All right. Social media. Social Mm. media usage is overrated. I think... I think social media is right where it needs to be, but also, I, I just think whatever... It depends on what your purpose is when it comes to social media. Yeah, business wise, it could be. It's definitely necessary. Yep. Uh, especially for marketing, promotion, mm-hmm. and just interacting with people who support you and your business. Um, but as far as like people 
having them acting like they about to have an aneurysm if they can't check their Twitter feed or Snapchat or IG or some shit like that. Or trying to get thirty, trying to get thirty people to tell you that you're beautiful or that you're handsome or some shit. That's <laughs> overrated. <clears throat> The Terminator franchise, right where it needs to be at. Yeah, it would have been underrated if it wasn't for that Christian Bale one. <laughs> that shit was hot steam and trash. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, it was like very bad. Uh, yep, yeah. right where it need to be. So I'm push on that one. All right, all right, all right. Rashad Davis. Ah. <laughs> Rashad Davis is definitely underrated. I would second that Rashad Davis is definitely underrated. Because this motherfucker's got them uh, Wikipedia knowledge on uh, pop culture is ridiculous. This nigga never goes anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's just at home. It's like right in front of the goddamn TV. <laughs> Definitely underrated though. <laughs> NATO. I don't know NATO. I don't know mm-hmm. NATO. I don't know NATO. I don't talk about nobody I don't know. I don't know NATO. <laughs> oh, everybody ended up in this box today. Marlon C. Overrated. Definitely overrated. Marlon C was underrated. Marlon C, he. He had some shit. I think if the, I think if he had stayed doing music longer, like his progression would have definitely took off. Lyrical ability was definitely there. I think he's underrated. Well, thanks. I say under. I mean over. <laughs> hey, you might be talking about some personal stuff. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I just thought I was. I, thought I, was, I mean, I, hmm. Hmm. He said, I've only met him once. So I don't know. <laughs> Harry Vaginas. That shit is overrated. I like bear. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't like all that hairy shit. I do not. I do not. I can't fucking stand it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna push on that because I don't know who's listening. <laughs> I don't get, look, if, if I done been with you before and, and you got. I don't know who's listening. And you know, I, well, shit, they already know I don't like hair. Anybody on Big Window, I hate hair. Don't like it. It's fucking mm-hmm. ridiculous. Like, it's okay to have it. You Just, can't have no forest. Yeah, I like, don't. Nobody I, you come around here, Miss Pearly, with that wolf <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like hair in my food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, blowjobs. I don't know where these questions come from. <laughs> I'm gonna say push. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say push. Right where they need to be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know NATO. <laughs> Die Hard franchise severely underrated. I love that franchise. And it's not a Christmas movie, but it's definitely underrated. Love Die Hard, especially the first one. Yes. I even like the newer one that they came out with with the sun. I didn't like that one when they went to Russia. It was yeah. alright. It wasn't horrible, but it just I got to the point where this motherfucker just seemed unstoppable. Now, like, come on. <laughs> I mean, but why shouldn't he be? The Rock can do it. The, yeah, but the Rock is not like sixty years old. And then this dude going to a foreign country, kicking ass. How he know all them different directions in them buildings and stuff? Come on, man. It just got a little bit out of hand with that last one. We don't know what he did in his spare time between movies. Uh, he just went to Russia, okay. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because if that's the case, you can question every super, I mean, every uh, action movie. I'm going to say it's, 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 it's <laughs> underrated. I'm going to say that. I did not like that. But that's how good the other ones before it was, though. Oh, so you compare the newer ones to the ones before it. I like Live Free or Die Hard. That was great. I didn't my the two worst to me is two and the last one. I I enjoy them all. I just take them for what they are action movies. I never expected anything spectacular. Yippee ki yay! 
Đấy. Let's say sex clubs. What the fuck is that? <laughs> sex clubs are places where you can go and uh, like you go in different rooms and like this might be just the oral sex room. This is the anal room. This is the. Those exist. Yeah. I thought that shit was just a movie, like brothels. Mm, kinda. I... It's one. It's one. I ain't gonna say the name on on thing, but yeah. It's one. <laughs> Did not know that was a thing. Uh. Mm. I don't think I, I I'm gonna say push because I really I don't think I would have a desire to go. So. I mean, I can see their purpose. They got stock options. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Kardashians underrated. <laughs> Rashad say you never been to one. <laughs> You've been married forever, nigga. <laughs> the Kardashians are underrated. Yeah, Kardashians are definitely underrated because <clears throat> I think before them. I think the only pe- the only reality TV people watched might have been like Real World versus Road Rules, and that wasn't even the same I mean, kind of Simple Life with uh, Richard uh, uh, Lionel Richie's daughter and uh, Paris Hilton. Oh yeah, they did have that. They were never as popular as Kardashians. Yeah, I mean, I just look at I, I they underrated because they they hustle. You know, you may not like their methods and stuff. They hustled, man. Yep, they I took, gotta respect the hustle. They took the shit that people they take the shit that people bash them for, put it on TV, and rub it in y'all face, and make money off y'all hating. So I can I can agree with you on that. Hating's one. hard work. The words getting Nate. Hmm? Quote Ti. <laughs> All right. Petey Pablo, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Pity Pop, motherfucker. <laughs> um, Take your shirt off. That Twist song, around your head like a helicopter. That song is underrated. Him himself is overrated. <laughs> I don't know what. I liked his album. I liked that first different. album. Yeah, One I didn't got... hear anything after that. I liked his first album. I think it was definitely different. It fit him for the time. I don't think people gave it enough. I don't think people gave it a chance. I think all they wanted was that, like that club shit. And it was wasn't... good. Yeah, he just always sound like a like he smoked a thousand cigarettes. Like Ja Rule. Or like I DMX. Like Rule, baby, boy, cookie. <laughs> so DMX, Ja Rule, Petey Pablo, who else got a very very graspy distinctive voice? Jada Kiss. So. That Pete Pete. It's always somebody. Petey Pub, motherfucker. The lovely city of Boston. I like Boston. Never been to Boston, and I don't eat beans, so. It's nice up there. Mm, heard it rain a lot. Can't be overweight up there, though. Why not enough room to move around? It's not enough room to move around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boston, but keeping you slim. I've never been to Boston, so I can't. I don't know. I can't speak on a place I have not been. So, if somebody want to send me a ticket to Boston, I'll visit, but ain't been there. Boston baked beans, don't eat them. Forged and fire, fucking amazing. <laughs> Severely Definitely underrated. underrated. <laughs> Severely underrated. I don't even know. How... That show is great, and if you ain't seen it, you need to watch it. I will say one of my favorite episodes when that black man was on there, he did like this. He was like, I think I'm done. I was dying laughing. Have you ever seen that one yet? I don't think so. Because so, I've, I've seen all of season six, and I started and went back to mm. season one, and I'm on season three now. And so far, it's only been three black people on there so far. Yeah. McDonald's. I don't like their food, but they are underrated. Same reason for the Kardashians. They hustle. I have to applaud their hustle. Man, if you ain't seen the movie The Founder, <laughs> go watch it. That shit made me hate McDonald's for like six months. 
That's I what, would not spend money on McDonald's like six months after I watched that movie. But that's what the hustle for, man. That is they fucked up. Hustled. That is like <clears throat> telling people, come to America and you can live the American dream. And it's like you get close to your American dream and the motherfucker just come and snatch that shit. And like, that's the real American dream. To watch somebody else build something, you just take it away like it was nothing. It's a good movie, I will say that. It was good. It was definitely good. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know it's good when it when the movie piss you off <laughs> and make you not want to spend money with an actual franchise. That means the people in the movie did their job. <laughs> oh, yeah, great movie. I, I got. I can't front. So McDonald's. <clears throat> I don't know. Everything about McDonald's is overrated except they fries. <laughs> Jesus, they fries are fucking amazing. <laughs> Alright. Name a better fry than McDonald's. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Women that don't wash their ass. How the fuck is this even a thing? <laughs> Unless you on the show alone or like naked and afraid, it should be no reason for you to not wash your ass. How anybody could think that women not washing their ass is overrated. It's a I thing. Don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Everybody need to wash their ass. Everybody do need to wash their ass, but <laughs> I think <clears throat> when we become adults, I think women lack washing their ass more than men do. I don't know. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Couldn't tell you. I <laughs> said that's just nasty. <laughs> like what T.I. say? I'm telling you. Hold I'm on. Around Chick-fil-A, it. Arby's, and Checkers. Checkers do got some good ass fries, but you eat too many Checkers fries, you get tired of them motherfuckers. McDonald's fries, you eat them shits all day. Chick Fil A, them waffle fries don't fucking count. They ain't even the real fry, mm. and they don't be salted. Ooh, I'm about to make some black people <laughs> mad. All right. Soul food, the, the actual food. Oh, the actual food. Yeah, not the movie. Overrated. Overrated. Bruh, I, I haven't watched it yet, but they got this show on YouTube where it's a black mom's try other black mom's soul food. I want to watch that shit. I ain't yeah. seen it yet, but I'm going to watch it. Because I think that's the thing. It's like everybody be like, oh, soul food is good. Soul food is shit. But it's like you go to somebody's house, you ain't eating everybody's food. So how good can it really be? Man, they, Start cooking the same thing. <laughs> they got roaches. Come on, y'all. Let's go. They got roaches here. And whoever said mm. chitlins was soul food, I don't agree with you because I don't eat that shit. Yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's soul food. You're going to die. <laughs> food make you give up the ghost. Let me say waffle. Job, come on, bro. Waffle fries are not real fries, Rashad. I like them. I, I ain't saying they nasty, but they ain't better than McDonald's. And whoever came up with uh fucking sweet potato fries, them shit's nasty too. Oh, I love sweet potato fries. They're they're more they're healthier. Yeah, they healthier. I can't deny that, but them shit don't taste great. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> All right, let's see. I ain't think we're gonna get through this whole box, but we might <laughs> work. <Let's see. laughs> work is. We on one twenty three. All right, we're going to wrap this shit up soon. All right, work itself. Putting in work for something that you're passionate about is underrated. Because it looks like you by yourself. <laughs> when I find out, I'll be by myself while y'all eating them nasty-ass waffle fries. And Jarvis says <laughs> McDonald's fries taste like an Amazon box. <laughs> well, Jarvis, I'm sorry somebody made me eat an Amazon box, but... McDonald's fries are great. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Act, like I said, actual work. When you're working towards something that you're passionate about, I don't think enough people do it. I think more people put more effort into working for other people than they put into working for themselves. So I think work in that sense of the word is underrated. I'm going to agree with everything you just said. Bill Cosby and Cardi B putting people to sleep. 
Again, Bill Cosby is right where you need to be. Well, I love Cardi B. I ain't saying nothing bad about Cardi B. I love her. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to say push because I love her. I'm being biased right now. I and she just won BET Award for Best New Artist. I love me some whole chat that. Oh, wait. Was the best new artist? Was it uh, best female Probably artist? Best female. She's been around for a minute. Yeah. Fade the way. I love Cardi B. All right. We're going to do about four more. Uncle Luke. Severely underrated. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for Uncle Luke, uh, we wouldn't even have some of the music we had today. Now, yeah. you, and everybody in this new generation definitely would not have music being played on the radio. Amen. The TV show The Office. I like their dry humor. <clears throat> I, I say push. The yeah, the the episodes I've seen have been really funny, but I have not watched like complete seasons. So I'll have to push on that one too. <laughs> Doodle bro. <laughs> Doodle brown soup. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. I ain't said shit. Absolute. <laughs> are, we, are we talking about the vodka? Are we talking about the group? The group. Oh, the group was. I had to push on the group. I don't think for for body of work and uh, what's what's out there. I think the group was right where they need to be. They don't have enough body of work to be under or over, in my opinion. I'll second that. Yeah. Miami. I've never been to Miami. Miami is <clears throat> the the downtown district is probably a little underrated. The actual the rest of Miami is overrated. <laughs> and there's no disrespect on Ross Wade. Nobody don't come after me. He, hell, even Dwayne Wade said it. Hmm. He said, y'all, y'all like this downtown area. Y'all don't know about the rest of it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Seafood. I love seafood. So, so push or under- Yeah, it's push for me. I'm going to say it's a little overrated to me because, actually, theoretically, I'm allergic to some seafood, so I shouldn't be eating it, and it makes me itch and shit like that or break out, but it's okay. I had sushi the other day. I love sushi, and I probably shouldn't eat that, but I do. The fuck? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Push. Titanic was overrated. But I have seen him in some movies that I thought he did a really good job in. Mm-hmm. He's a great actor. I think he gets uh, the credit he deserves. That's why I said yeah. push. Push? I agree with that. All right. What that time looking like? 128. Oh, well, we could skip that one because you already know. That one was Pimp C, by the way. Yeah. Big Boy. Now, that one I can roll with. Underrated. Underrated. All you outcast fans out there be giving three stacks the highest praise when Big Boy got the most body of work out there. Sergeant Lincoln Osiris. (laughs) I think he is he couldn't survive in the real world because folks would, would tear him apart for being in blackface. So for that, I will probably have to say he's underrated. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you like this. I fucking love that dude, man. He's a fucking great actor, man. It's fucking amazing. I don't drop character to the DVD commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 
Hey, Tubo. All right. All right. Kids. Overrated. overrated. Fuck them kids. Kids are definitely overrated. Love mine to death, but kids are overrated. Fuck them kids. Overrated. <laughs> overrated. But somebody got to keep having kids to to balance out this <laughs> this generational gap. <laughs> somebody got to come along and got some goddamn sense. Uh I hate this person. He's severely overrated. He's trash. His mother should have swallowed um, okay. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Overrated. He's not I, even a funny comedian. He has so much influence over over people that he doesn't even deserve. He abused his influence and it drives me fucking insane. <laughs> Sam said you overrated, fool. Why am I overrated? <laughs> Probably because we said kids overrated. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love your kid. I don't like kids though. I don't want no kid. Yeah, she's great. I want her to be president. <laughs> but I don't I want I tell you what Kid number two for me Is overrated I don't want no more goddamn kids I don't like kids <laughs> Fuck them kids And then you know what Sam I'm gonna tell you this When she get older And you have to buy All that shit And you can't And you be like Well Luna I can't afford this Or Luna You going crazy With ass for all this shit You gonna be like Go to your fucking room <laughs> And then you gonna be Jarvis This little heifer Wants everything And it's getting on my nerves I'm telling you <laughs> Yeah, I got a kid. <laughs> Fuck him too. That's why I'm trying to trying to tell y'all. Yeah. I have to buy all this, this shit. This man speaking from experience. <laughs> I got to buy all this expensive shit that I can't afford because he want all this shit. And then when he don't get it, depressed and shit, sick of this shit. Bro, like I said, kids. I love my daughter to death, but kids are definitely overrated. Then now they got the heartbeat law. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm joking on that one. I'm joking on that one. Heartbeat. This son of a bitch. No. I'm <laughs> oh man. Now, I don't know. I guess that's because I got all my clothes hey, hangers ready. <laughs> all right. My daughter only eight. Your son what? 13, 14? 14. He's he's a ninth grader. So we got we got a couple of years. <laughs> we got a couple of years in this game. So you go talk to somebody Like go talk to your parents For everybody who listening to this Who be like how the fuck can they say the kids are overrated Go talk to your parents I guarantee it's been a couple of times Where they wish your ass wasn't here yep. <laughs> I guarantee it All y'all expensive ass goddamn kids Causing me Opening my screen though Running up my light bill <laughs> right. Man you know how much shit your parents probably missed out on because they had to watch your ass? Because you can't watch your goddamn self? Now, granted, I don't do shit anyway. I then, love my daughter with Then me. you get fussed at. Like, you sitting there. Nah, I'm not. Yeah, they be on the phone. Nah, I'm not going to be able to go. Yeah. Y'all just tell me how it is. Sit your ass down. Rashad, we ain't saying you don't love your kid, bro. But we just saying kids are overrated. When everybody be like, oh, I need to get married so I can have kids or blah, blah, blah. I got to have a kid before I'm this age. Or I got to have kids before I get too old. That, in, in that sense, is overrated. If you want to have a kid, take your time. Make sure you're prepared. Don't keep bringing these kids in this goddamn world and you ain't financially stable to do so. Especially in Georgia, heartbeat law. Because you ain't <laughs> fucking helping they ass out and they ain't helping you out, goddammit. Just be smart about that shit. Man, Don't done, rush into it. <laughs> I done seen people look at their kids with complete and utter disdain. Like, I fucking hate you. And it's like, you be like, damn, that's your kid. And it's like, but I can like I can vibe with that. I love my son more than anything in this world, though. But I, I just, it's, it's, it was a, it's a road that I wouldn't travel. <laughs> Bruh, I guarantee, like, look. Like I said, I love my daughter. But God knows that if... I was not on this earth or my I had like it was one less of me and like a less of my brother and sister like when my mom had kids mm. she probably wouldn't be like in 
the position she's in now, she had to sacrifice so much and she gave up so much that she couldn't really get to do shit for herself because she had to work t- just to raise us. Man, my so mom, that, my mom used to make our clothes. <laughs> Bro. I used to know about brothers They used to share shit So one brother's big And one brother's small So when the big brother Wear it The shit is tight The other one wear it It's loose <laughs> Fucking crazy man <laughs> <laughs> And then my mom's Favorite word was no All Everything is no Cause I ain't got It's either I ain't got no money Or no Man Bro I, I stopped telling my daughter No Like I don't know. It's been so long since I told her no. I tell her maybe next time or let me see what I can do. And then I explain to her why. Because if I'm always telling her no, then to me it's making me seem like I'm not doing enough to provide the thing that she needs for her. I mean, so that's just that's just me. So Maybe when she get older and her stuff start getting a lot more expensive now. She ain't coming to me asking me for like no MacBooks or no shit like that. You know what I mean? But I gotta got I gotta put my foot down when she didn't ask me for her fiftieth bottle of clear glue so she can make some slime. I'm like, look, not right now. Cause you got too many clear bottles of glue (laughs) to make slime. Well I say no. no. (laughs) Matter of fact, I put hell in front of no. Tired of it. Is that what you didn't mean those (laughs) emotions? Oh man. But we gonna wrap this shit up. This was an interesting episode, man. We might have to do another one similar to this. I think it'd be well, dope to have a segment when we have a guest on and they do it. Like yeah. a little segment they get to pick random things out. Yeah, we can have some tiebreakers. <laughs> so if you joined us, we definitely appreciate you. What do you say? Yeah. That that slide. <laughs> so if you joined us, we definitely appreciate you for checking in another round of Absolute. We appreciate you checking in on Facebook Live. We appreciate you checking in on Instagram Live when it was up. Well, whoever that one person was that checked in and then jumped off, that I didn't get to wave it until it was the last minute because I already had a nigga rip my phone to stand up. That so you ain't see the struggle that was going on over here. So, but we appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, you can check us out on Podbean, which is why podcast is hosted. You can also check us out on iTunes Music. I mean, iTunes or Apple Music. Well, whatever is going to be in a couple of weeks when they split the shit and they ain't merged no more. Mm-hmm. I, um, you can check us out on Google Play Music, Spotify, TuneIn app. And we'll have some more later if you... If I fail to mention something, just go to our Podbean. Every link <laughs> to every link that our podcast is on is on that page as well. Whatever suits you to listen to another round of Absolute, do that. Till next time, we appreciate you. We out this motherfucker. Take care of yourself. Good night, bitches. <laughs>